What is up, I Love Basketball TV. It's Coach Ryan Rizuki. Today I'm here with Kai, Julio, and Dom, and we're gonna show you how to master the pick and roll. Let's get to it. When we are trying to understand the pick and roll, a few things must happen. All right, Kai, I need you to play some defense right here. I'm gonna have the ball, and we need to see some angles. So, Julio, can you set my screen for me, please? Go to the elbow. All right, thank you. Jeff, a little right here, just so that way he's got a good angle. Right here, Kai, beautiful. Now. When you come to set my screen, all right, we need to split feet. Beautiful, this is a phenomenal screen. I could not ask for a better screen, thank you very much. Now, show me a terrible screen, please. All right, this is a terrible screen, why? Because when I go this way, you can easily just slide right through and that's useless. Now, give me another terrible screen, all right? Perfect, you hit the gap. This is a terrible screen, because you don't hit anybody, I come here, Kai has no problem to go through this as well. Now, give me, uh, give me another good one, all right? So spread the feet nice and wide, make sure that your shoulders, or your chest is right in the shoulder, beautiful. This is perfect, because when I come off, he has to make a decision whether to go over or under, and if I do a good job coming off the screen, all right, here, boom, it's too tight, all right, we got gaps here, we got gaps there. The other option is if he goes under, now he has to take bigger steps to go under, creating more space for me, so go under, boom, opening up some opportunities for me to score. Now, let's say Dom is guarding Coolio. Just so you see those gaps. Julio comes at the screen. This is what I'm looking for every time, okay? First option, I'm looking to come off the screen and go at Dom and score. Whether that means attack, going downhill hard and getting to the basket, shooting this mid-range right here, or shooting this three. That's the first thing I'm looking to do is score every single time. Because if I'm in attack mode, that makes it easier. Now, Julio comes at the screen. Dom is doing a good job of playing defense. I see the gap right there. I'm looking at that gap. That's my second option every single time. So it's not only just a gap, it could be a pop, whatever it is, but if I have the inclination to score, come set it, that makes Dom have a bigger gap because he's so worried about me scoring that the gap is there. But if Dom knows that I'm not looking to score, it makes it easy for him to play the pockets because he's like, oh, okay, he's not gonna score anyway. So that's the first thing is what we're trying to do is attack hard downhill and score, then we'll look at that pocket second. So you guys each have the ball, grab your ball, grab your, yep, grab your basketballs. I'm gonna set you guys a screen. I want you to imagine that defender right there and as soon as you come off that screen, you hit him with something. Right? Hit him with something nice and quick. More often than not, we might attack that left or we might fake him left and go back to that right. All right, start your dribble. Boom, hard screen, go quick. Yep, beautiful, right? Let's get to the basket or shoot your mid-range right now. Good, way to set him up, come off. Beautiful, nice and easy downhill, let's go. Quick. Good, I like to pull up. Got it, let's go. Let's get three buckets here, let's get three buckets. We got one right now. I want you to go quick. I want you to go quick off it. Let's go, quick. Boom. Nice. Attack him hard, Julio, let's go. Attack him hard downhill, push. Good. Beautiful, now, what Julio just did and what Dom had done and Kai just did is they came off the screen, they just did was something that's called a snake when you go back that same direction. I actually really love to do this, but you gotta be careful because at the higher levels, I'm gonna set my screen and hold it for a second. At the lower levels, guys are gonna set their screen and they might roll way too fast for you to do that, so we might run into each other. So for now, give me one more where you just attack hard to that left side, all right? Don't go back to the right. Good, way to get up, way to get up. Good. All right, you can even fake it and go double crossover. Nice, beautiful, good shot, good midi. I like it though, it's good basketball right there. So, we attack the man, we look to shoot that one, we get into the paint, get into floaters, whatever, All right, finish at the rim. But us getting a paint touch does so much for our team, because as soon as we touch the paint, the defense comes in and we're able to kick it out or find open scorers on our team, right? Now, I'm gonna work on the roll. So you guys are gonna go ahead and start over there. You're gonna pass me the ball. Okay, send me a screen. As soon as I come off it, we're gonna roll. So feed me, now whoa, whoa, whoa. right hand pass. You're throwing the ball to the right side. Okay, throw me the ball. Come send me a nice wide screen. When I come off, okay, beautiful. I'm gonna come off, I'm gonna make sure I touch you. All right, we're gonna roll this shoulder so that way we open up to that pass. You can see me the whole time. Go ahead, get to the basket. When you get to the basket, be creative with your finishes. Don't do the same finish every time. All right, let's roll down. Boom. Good. Love it, love it. Love it. Super tough, it's okay. You don't have to be creative every time. Sometimes it's simple, but just mix it up. Good pump fake, nice. Good, one more, one more. Good, one more, just finish. 
Good. Now hold on, give me one more, hold on to the screen a little bit. Don't roll so fast. Sometimes you just want to wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Good. Oh, it's okay, yeah. And you were trying to go, so I was trying to feed you. Let's go. Okay. You don't want to go every time. Good. Wait, wait, go now. Yes. Okay. As a screener, you got to understand, like, not every time we're trying to rush into this thing, okay? Let's go back there. I'm going to set your guys' screen, all right, and I'm going to roll for you. We'll just go one rep each, so you make that pass. Now, two ways to make this pass. Left hand dribble, left hand pass. Left hand dribble, right hand pocket through, all right? Dribble, wait, go. Good. Good. It's not, it's not going to be a push. It's a pocket this way or a lefty this way, all right? Good. Almost. It's not a wrap. Try again. So look. Boom. In that pocket. Or boom. In the pocket. But it's all in this space. Okay. It's not a wrap right now. That's a whole different pass. Better. Much better. Good job. Let's go, Kai. Good. Oh, too high. Try again. There it is. Lay up. Last one, Dom. Perfect. Good pocket. Great pocket. So that's how you make your pocket pass. Now, we talked a little bit about getting into here. Last one. We're going to come off this screen. We're going to get a paint touch. Okay. When you get a paint touch, a couple things. You can choose to score right now, or you can choose to kick it to me and then play off that kick. Sounds good? But you got to get your feet in the paint. So attack that man. You can kick it to me and play off that, or you can just score it straight up. Go ahead. Come off that screen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Set up the screen. Make sure you touch it every time before you use it. What are you trying to do? What's your number one thing when you're trying to score? You're trying to score. If the score is not available, kick it. If you can score, score. But you got to touch the screen when you come off it. Every time. Come off tight. Good. We're not snaking it right now. Don't snake it right now. It's too advanced. Good. Good. Get a bucket. Quick. Good. Good take. Go down. Good, good. Way to get a paint touch, way to score. Good. Good shot. Tight. Good move. One more. Come on, tight. Good kick. Boom. Face out. Let's go. Go floater. Get down. One more bucket. One more bucket. Yes, thank you for getting a paint touch first. Good job with a space out. Great shot. One more bucket, Kyle. Last bucket. On a make. On a make. Good. Great job. Great take. Okay. It's okay. These are all concepts that you've got to understand. So when you're going through your workouts, do this. Now, let's say that you have to go through this workout by yourself and you can't kick it to anybody. That's totally fine. Make sure you get your paint touch. Boom. Self toss it. Sprint out. And that's what you've got to do. But the concepts here are mandatory. You've got to understand how to make decisions off of these paint touches. So now we're getting to here. We'll talk a little bit about a reject because everything we've done has been coming off the screen. That's why I said no snakes yet. All right. That's just advanced stuff. Obviously, you guys know it, but you've got to understand. Have you ever tried to snake a screen and your guy rolls at the same time and you guys almost run into each other? Okay. It's, I know it's happened, right? So at the lower levels, guys aren't smart enough and they don't hold their screen and they roll too fast. And so sometimes you might know what's right and they don't, right? Or when people say KYP, you got someone who looks like they're about to backdoor cut and you throw a beautiful dime and they don't finish the cut. And you're like, bro, what? Like, but they don't know basketball yet. So sometimes you just... Got to be careful. Now, I'm setting the screen here. The defender jumps the screen, and they try to overplay the screen. So we're not going to use it. We'll just fake it and go the other way. All right? I'm here. I'm setting the screen. Pretend to use it. Yep. Pretend to use it. Boom. Just turn back the other direction. Yep. Go score that way. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Okay? Love it. I'm going to use this so you guys can see. All right? Pretend like you're going to use the screen and reject it. Let's go. Good. Just be quicker on that, Julio. Be quicker on that reject. Nice. Love it. Love it. Beautiful shot. Yep. Use the screen. Fake it. Good. Go floater. Closer you can get, the better. Closer you can get, the better. Love it. Great fake. Love that. One of my favorite ones. Love it. Great job. One of my favorite ones. So, this is a lot of stuff you got to have to make sure that you can understand the pick and roll. If you can do this, you're already ahead of the game. Now, one last thing we'll talk about is the hedge. So, Julio, can you hedge my screen for me, please? 
So let's say that Kai is guarding me and Julio is guarding this guy. Not guarding me. Okay. Not every time is the guy just going to be chilling back there waiting for me to come off and attack. Sometimes he's going to be more aggressive and jump on top right here and really pressure me so I can't come off the screen fast. A couple things I can do. One, obviously, go ahead, jump it. Obviously, I can just throw the dime and feed my guy if I can make that pass correctly. But maybe he doesn't roll in time or lots of reasons why that could go wrong. Or maybe someone's down there, so I don't want to throw him the ball so he turns, you know, turns and looks and sees an automatic defender and it's a turnover. So when Julio jumps the screen, I can go ahead and bounce out of this. Boom, bounce out. He's going to recover back to his man, and you got to recover back to me. But when I have this window, I can attack that window right there before he can actually get back to me because he'll either go over or under when you jump it, and then I can go ahead and make my decision based off that. All right? So he's guarding me. Julio go ahead and hedges the screen. Boom, I'm out. Julio gets back. That's my window to attack before Kai can recover to me. Right? Or that's my window to pass to there. Or if you're really smart and somebody's helping the roller, that's my window to pass to the guy who's helping the roller. So that's why we're trying to understand our paint touches, see our options, but we're trying to score first. We see our screen guy second, and then we're looking to the other side. All right, so we'll play off that edge. Go ahead, Kai, you got it. Come on. Bounce, go, 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 go. Nice. It's okay, good save. Go, bounce, go. Love it. Great take. Let's go. Good. Good bounce. Good off arm. Good spin. Give me one. Nice. Last one, Kai. Last one. Good. Go. Woo! Finish on the make. Finish on the make. It's okay. I'm glad that you're working on your game. Good. Beautiful. All right. Now. That's how you master the pick and roll, at least at the beginner level. And we'll make some more videos on how to master it more advanced as well. But make sure you click the link down in the pinned comment below. Drop your email so we can send you a free scoring workout. And we'll see you guys in the next one. We hope you enjoyed today's video. So make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did. And subscribe as we're dropping new videos every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell. We'll catch you guys in the next video.